welcome to the Camping Room tutorial on how to make paper air powered rockets. It's really quite simple and all we really need are a few simple items. We need two sheets of cardstock. We need a thing of Elmer's uh, uh, glue stick. We also need some a little bit of Play-Doh. Scissors, pencils, um, we have some uh, pre-cut fins that you can trace and make fins out of. We also have a piece of copper pipe with some duct tape that's been wrapped around. Uh, and that's how we're going to make the, the rockets. Some, uh, just some uh, regular tape and a ruler. Right, it's really quite simple to start with. I'm going to make a yellow rocket. I just get a piece of cardstock, lay it down in front of me, and I get my piece of copper pipe, and again with the duct tape around, and what this is going to do is just going to act as the mold to make the body of the rocket. So I get my glue ready, you take the cap off. So what you want to do is just take your piece of paper, just sort of roll it around, roll around the pipe. And what you want to do is just line up the edge with the long edge of the piece of paper so that when it gets rolled up it will roll up nice and square. So what you want to just do is just start rolling it and your first one once you get it around you just sort of want to tuck in the bottom of the paper to get it to get it fairly tight. And then you just start rolling and you want to roll it all, almost all the way to the end, just to make sure that you're pretty well, uh, that, you, that everything's going to line up on the edges. Then just roll it back about halfway, a little bit more than halfway if you want. Get your glue gun or glue stick and just go back and forth. And then you just roll up the card a little bit. Again, and roll it up. And what this is doing is just gluing all the pieces together and it makes a really strong tube so that when you launch it with the air powered it doesn't bust the tube or explode the tube. Go here. Now the last line here you really want to make sure that you get quite a bit of glue on the very edge because that's important otherwise you won't get a very the, the tube when you put it around like this it won't stick. So, anyway, so what you want to do is you just want to Keep rubbing it back and forth until it totally sticks. And there we go. I can roll it just to make sure that everything is nice and nice and tight. And then you'll see I'll be able to just pull off the tube, the rocket tube off of the piece of copper pipe that we that we have. The next step that you want to do is just stick it back on and you want to have the tube go over the edge of copper maybe about a half inch or three eighths of an inch and then you just want to I'll just move it a little closer you just want to bend over the edge and just go work your way around just bending it over and what you're basically doing is just crimping the edge of the rock and all you need to do is just take couple of pieces of tape. You don't want to make it very long, just a little bit. And just stick it over the top of the rocket. You want to put a couple pieces. And what this will do is just prevent it from uh, the crimped edge from popping out once you shoot it. I'm just going to put one more piece on. down, push the edges down. Then sometimes what I'll do, just to smooth it up a bit, I'll just take a piece, just wrap it around, and that gives a nice strong um, edge. And then when you have air power, it just shoots out. So now what I want to do is make the fins. It's real simple. I want to just take a piece of cardstock, and I just want to fold it in half lengthwise. Then what I want to do is take one of my fins, one of the fins, and you don't have to use um, 
one of the pre-cut ones as a guide, but for this we're just going to do it. And what I want to do is line up the bottom edge of the fin onto the edge of my cardstock that I've just folded over. So take a pencil, just quickly edge around, trace it. Right, so I just trace those out and then you just take your scissors and cut out your fins. Alright, so now that we've cut out our, our three fins, what we're going to do now is just fold over the edges. So what you want to do is grab your ruler, just want to line it up with the tabs. Now the tabs are where the, where the fin comes up, the tabs are the flat part that just comes up there. So what you want to do is just stick it on and just fold up. Oops, fold up the top part of the fin. Just like that. Then I want to just flip it over and do the other side of the fin. Like, like so. Pretty simple. And then, and then once you do that, what you want to do is take a glue stick and just glue one side of the actual fin. Don't do the tabs yet. That will happen shortly. And then you just want to um, press together your fin so it's all glued together. And that'll make this nice strong fin. So what you want to do is take your fin, just open the two tabs, and just pile on some of the glue from the glue stick. And you just want to take it. You want to line it up so that it's fairly square to the bottom of the rocket. And if you look down on it, you can just push over the edges and get it, get it lined up so it's got a nice straight um, do that to my other fins and, and the nice thing is sure. I can just line it up with the edge of the, fi of the previous fin that I've just put on there and just start pushing down the edges and yeah, if everything has gone right you should be able to just pretty well line them up and they fit almost perfectly around to get them all aligned in the, in the right order, or the right spacing anyways. And again, you just want to keep pushing them down until you, the glue is fairly dry. So we're almost ready to go and fly them. Last thing that we want to do is add just a little bit of ballast to the front of the rockets. And the way we do that, we just take a little bit, and it doesn't have to be very much, but we just take a little bit of Play-Doh Maybe make a ball about this size. Make sure that it will actually fit in. Just drop it down. Get to the bottom. You can just take this pole and just lightly, lightly tap it in. And this will just push it down into the bottom of the rocket. So that concludes our tutorial on how to make paper rockets that are reusable. They fly up anywhere from 100 feet, depending on the pressure, up to 300 feet. I've even heard people who have launched them up to 600 feet up into the air. So they're reusable when they land. They have a nice solid nose and you can just put them right back on and, and launch them up. So there we are. Have fun flying.